Good grief. How in the world can you imagine that? Neighbors can't wrap their head around it. They're remembering no Bryce and Bubba as written on this tree memorial in front of the house. With colorful flowers and pom-poms opposite this crime scene tape portrays the dark events taking place here Thursday afternoon. Bill Swawetcher lives nearby and says he watched multiple officers try to get McCaslin outside to surrender. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation says the woman was armed with a weapon and barricaded inside. I think it was around 3 o'clock and uh, the, the police officers were here in massive numbers. And those are the guys I really feel sorry for that they have to go through that. Getting no response, OSBI says they went inside and found McCaslin and her three children dead from gunshot wounds. I did see the kids come in and off the bus a couple times. Blake Forsman's family lives across the street and would often see their mother waiting for them or loading up a truck. I noticed the exterior of the house wasn't kept up. The garage windows were shattered and there were bikes and toys lying around. Forsman says he fixed their fence in the past so their dogs wouldn't get to his. They look like normal kids. I mean, they, you know, would get off the bus, run inside, ride bikes, just normal everyday kids. A tragic event leaving the community, especially neighbors, speechless. The pitiful part is that those kids, they had nothing to do with anything and they're gone. They're gone. And that's, those kids are the future of America. Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.